Meanwhile, in Tupac news, the shooting of Tupac Shakur once again underscores the violence that has surrounded this man since he shot the superstar. To Pulled up, open fire, Shakur and Knight. Tupac Shakur was shot several times in the chest. Shakur was pronounced dead. Machiavellianist, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 game shot at me. From the land of women, sunny days, chrome spinning. Shook Knight hands over life rights to Ray J. Make me some money. Shook Knight could be in prison for the rest of his life, but he doesn't want to go out a broke man, so he's entrusting Ray J to cash in on his name. Sources close to the former Death Row Records boss tell TMZ, he's signed over his life rights to Ray, with the expectation he'll make the right decisions with Suja's story and make some money for him and his family while he's behind bars. We're told Knight's been friends with Ray J for decades and trusts his business acumen and ability to choose the right projects for film, TV, book publications and more. Our sources say a documentary on Shug and his famous record label is already being developed, as well as a project about Tupac Shakur and there are discussions of bringing Death Row back. On the latter, we're told it's a long shot that would require additional investors, but Suja's letting Ray take the reins on exploring the venture. Of course, all of this is huge for Ray J and his bank account too, which is a nice follow-up to the lucrative $1 million deal he inked in August to get people to invest in the weed biz. Looks like he's now in charge of two major enterprises, not to mention side hustles in the headphones and scooter industries, so business looks good. Shug, meanwhile, is serving hard time for at least the next decade. As we reported, he struck a 28-year plea deal in his murder case last year, but got credit for time served and with prison overcrowding, he could be released in a little more than 10 years. If Ray J's successful, he could be getting out of prison and walking into a fortune. Hey wait a minute, ain't that Brandy's brush? Only Gab can do it like this. Yo YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Wait a minute, you trying to tell me <laughs> that Shug, wait a minute, Shug Knight has signed over his life rights. Hey, wait to wait a minute, minute. isn't that Brandy's brother? <laughs> no, we stop. To Ray J. I'm confused because I know personally a few people that would gladly pay a king's ransom to get the life right, the life rights, the Suge Knight story, and everything that come along with it. You talking about the music, the money, the the allure, you know, the women, the persona, the artists, the 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 history, the legacy. All this rolled into one vessel. And he has given it to Ray J. Now think about that for a minute. No disrespect to Ray J. I don't know Ray J. I really don't. And I'm sure Ray J is making some moves out here. But if you think of the names... Out there in L.A., in Hollywood, and you think about the past relationships that Shug Knight had, and the best he can do is to instill his life story in Ray J. Let that soak for a minute. And that will surely tell you how many bridges the Murray and Suge Knight has burnt along the way. You know, man, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Because, like I said, you talk about the music. You talking about. Um, the stories, the backstories, the behind-the-scenes stuff, the stuff that 
we'll never know about unless Suge chooses to tell us about. You talk about Tupac, you talk about Snoop, you talk about Dr. Dre, you talk about Easy e you talk about N.W.A., you talk about Puffy, you talk about all this part of this man's history. And in order to tell his story fully, you need this man's blessing and his approval. And he's giving all of this to Ray J. I know you can hear it in my voice. I, I, I'm at a loss for words, man. I really am. You know, you got people that's really doing some big stuff out here. 50. Um, you know, uh, you know what? It would never happen. But Dr. Dre got enough money. He could really put this out here in the right way. If they could, you know, come to some kind of accord, some kind of agreement, some, time, some kind of understanding. You don't always have to like people you're making money with. But just be cordial about it. But Ray J got it. You heard WAC 100 saying he was going to get it. But Suge gave it to Ray J. And you know what? That must really say something about Ray J. You know that? Without cutting Ray J short or selling Ray J short, Ray J must really be making some power moves. Or Suge may see Ray J as his last resort. Man. I can't wait to hear what y'all think about this. I really, I really can't. For two reasons. What exactly has Ray J done to this point that would make Shug think this is a good idea? Or what direction do you see Ray J going? You know, is... Is Ray J going to be... Well, Ray J is, right now, he's almost like the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Trustee. You know what I mean? You know, Ray, I don't know if Ray J just representing Suge or do he own it? Or is this fictional? What if this whole story has been spun out of control and, you know... It's not factual. It's a strong possibility. But once again, I don't know if I said it previously, but I'm saying it now. TMZ was the first to report that Suge Knight has signed over his life rights over to Ray J. Yes, Brandy's brother. Moesha. The guy who made Kim Kardashian famous. <laughs> Ray J made a famous facts. I'm curious to see what he can do with it. Ray J may shock us all and, you know, broke a major deal to get this thing put out here in a major way. And it's funny because ain't he related to Snoop? Didn't Brandy say that Snoop was like their first cousin, second cousin? So he was around death row. You know, Suge Knight said he known Ray J for years. Got respect for the little homie. Little homie making power moves. He been doing stuff on television, you know. Um, uh, what is that? Reality TV shows and stuff of that nature. He was hanging out with Floyd Mayweather and the money team and all of that. But I just want to know what has he done to make Suge feel like, yeah, this is the right way to go. Because like I said, you can't tell me all them movie directors, all them agents, all them producers, nobody wanted to touch Suge Knight or his story. Suge must have really fell from grace if nobody won nothing to do with him. I just can't, I can't fathom that. I, I don't believe for one second that one of these people ain't say, we, to themselves, hey, I can make some money off Suge. Because if they didn't, they got to be foolish. Suge Knight got a billion dollar story. 
if told the right way. And it's not just him. It's everything around him that makes the story so fascinating. And he's giving it to Ray J. Brandy's brother. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> anyway, I need you guys to share and like this video. Don't forget to sub to the channel, Machiavelli Media. I'm the host with the most. I'm your homie, Gab. I'm signing off. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace. Cause I'm a shine, major ice. I'm talking about Nigel. I hate this life.